Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have my first impressions and review on the new Selfie Story collection from Tanya Bay Cosmetics. I was super super grateful I actually got sent these in PR and I've just sat down to do my makeup and I thought that I would do a first impressions and review on these and use them to create my makeup look today. So I really hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you do down in the comments below. Let me know if you've used any of these yet as well. And if you wanna see my first impressions, review and tutorial using the new Selfie Story collection from Tiny Bear Cosmetics, then keep watching. So this is the Selfie Story collection from Tiny Bear Cosmetics and it contains three different items. So the first one is the Selfie Sculpt, which is the brow pencil and I believe this comes in three shades in fair, medium and dark. Then there is the Selfie Lash Mascara and then finally there is the Selfie Flick which is a liquid eyeliner. I feel like these three as a group work really well together because they are definitely makeup staples which I think we've all got in our makeup bags and which we all use in our makeup routines every day. Brows are definitely very important. I love filling in my brows. Even if I don't do anything else with my makeup, I have to fill my brows in. A mascara is also very important to me. I've reviewed a few on my channel so far because I don't wear false lashes every day and I do like a good mascara which really darkens my lashes and lengthens them. And if you've watched my channel for a while or had a look through my videos, you'll know that I love my winged eyeliner. So these three together for me are definitely products that I would use every day. So I'll quickly give my thoughts on the packaging before I try them on because I know that's the part that everybody looks forward to. I really, really like the packaging. I think it looks really, really smart, especially the gold because I love everything gold anyway. But I think for a more sort of drugstore priced product it definitely has more of like a luxury feel to it and a bit more of a special feel to it if you get what I mean. Gold packaging like this always reminds me of more high-end and luxury brands so yeah the packaging for me is definitely a big thumbs up. I also feel really nice and lightweight as well which I like and overall they just look very very pretty so I think we should move on to trying them out. So first I'm going to fill in my brows using the Selfie Sculpt Brow Pencil and it already has a huge thumbs up from me because it has a spoolie on one end which I think every brow pencil has to have a spoolie on the end. If it doesn't, I still have to use one that I've already got to help brush the product through. So the fact that this already has one is a huge bonus. And the actual brow pencil is like an angled shape which looks really nice. And I've got the shade medium as well, which I think should be fine for my brows. So I'm going to start by brushing all the hairs through and I just brush them into a rough shape. And then I'm first going to use the very end of the pencil tip just to draw a rough line underneath. And yes, I can already tell this is a really nice colour. And I'm also just going to do a little line underneath this front section. So I always line under my brow but I never line over the top. So now we've sort of lined underneath, we've got that shape that we want. I'm going to go straight in and use it like flat against my brow to help fill this in. The fact that it is so lightweight as well is making it really easy to handle and move about. Okay, so you can see the difference. That is filled in my brows, it's super quick and they look really, really nice. Okay, let's try the other one. So again, using the very tip to line underneath. And I just fill in from there. And then blend as we go. This is why a spoolie on the end is so important. Okay, so those are my brows using the Selfie Sculpt Brow Pencil and I really, really did like it. It was very easy to use and I like that they look bold because I do like a bold brow but they don't look too drawn on because the pencil, like the formula, is really nice and soft. Before I try the eyeliner, I'm just going to do a little bit of eyeshadow because I am going out in this makeup today. So I'm going to use a little bit of like a brownie orange eyeshadow just in my crease. As well, usually I would set my eyebrows with a brow set in gel or something like that but I want to see how this pencil wears so I'm not going to set them with anything, I'm just going to keep them as they are. 
And then over my lid, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of gold eyeshadow. So moving on to the selfie flick, this is the liquid eyeliner. This is what it looks like. The brush is really, really fine. I will absolutely admit I'm not that confident using liquid eyeliners. I much, much prefer using a gel. I'm just not that good at applying liquid eyeliner. So this was gonna be a test for me. I do like the handle of the product, which is the longest part, because it does sit better in your hand. A lot of the ones that I've used before this is quite short, so it's a little bit fiddly to hold, but I think this one is gonna be fine. I do really like the look of the wand as well. It looks very fine and precise, so we will see. And this is where I hold my breath. <laughs> Okay, so that is my wing. I'm actually really, really pleased with that. I think I did very well because I'm not the most confident person using a liquid eyeliner. That is one coat as well and it's super, super black. So I'm not gonna go in with a second coat because I think it looks good. I don't want to ruin it. Now I've got to try and do the same on the other side. Okay guys, those are my wings. How do you think I did? I think I did pretty well with that. I really like the look of them. The formula is super matte black as well, which I absolutely love. I think I will carry on using that because I'm not saying that I found it super, super easy because obviously I'm not that used to using it liquid eyeliners, but I really like the formula. And I actually think it was probably one of the easiest ones that I have used so far. So yeah, I think my wings look pretty good. Okay, moving on to the final product in the Selfie Story collection is the Selfie Lash Mascara. Okay, so the wand looks like this. It is a plastic wand, which I'm not too familiar with. It does look really nice though. There are a lot of bristles, which is really promising. The wand also tapers off towards the end, which I think will be really nice for getting into the inner corners and doing your smaller lashes as well. So before I actually try it on, I'm just gonna brush through my lashes first. I always do this, so I'm gonna do it today as well. And I'm also gonna give them a little curl. Okay, so I'm gonna apply my first coat. Okay, so that is just one coat and you can definitely see a difference. It's made my lashes look pretty long. It's done quite well in coating every lash as well. So that's one coat and it looks really, really nice. It didn't transfer either while I was applying it, which is very good. I am just gonna let that dry and then do a second coat because I do wanna see how it layers, but with just one coat, it looks really, really beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna do a second coat. Let's see how it applies. But the second coat applied absolutely fine. It definitely made my lashes look that extra little bit thicker. The formula as well feels really lightweight, like it's not a thick formula at all. I'm just gonna do a little bit underneath. Wow, I love this for bottom mascara. Look how nice it's made those bottom lashes. The very end of this wand is really good for getting right into the smaller lashes. So this mascara more than anything else is now my new favorite bottom lash mascara. It's made my lashes underneath look so, so nice. And my top lashes as well look super black, super long, and it feels really comfortable as well. My first impressions from the Selfie Story collection from Tiny Bear Cosmetics, I really, really liked everything that I used. I believe each product is supposed to be super long wearing as well, so this makeup has got to last me till later tonight, so I think when I get home later, I will come back on here and we'll just see how everything has worn, seeing if anything has worn off or transferred. I really, really like them, especially my winged eyeliner. I'm pretty impressed and pleased with myself for that. So yeah, I will come back later on and we'll see how everything is worn. So I will see you in a bit. So just a super quick update. I've had my makeup on for about five hours now and all the products have lasted really, really well. This eye was watering a little bit earlier. So my eyeliner 
has come off just a little bit in the very inner corner but I don't think you can really tell. The mascara has stayed really comfortable and it hasn't started to flake off or anything like that or become dry or anything. And the eyebrow pencil as well I think has stayed really really well. So that completes today's first impressions and review and tutorial using the new Selfie Story collection from Tiny Bird Cosmetics. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did down in the comments below and please give it a big thumbs up as well and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!